Hi everyone, I'm Phil Healy, I'm the Public Access Coordinator for NORCAM. I'm here with a great group of guests here to talk about the Relay for Life, which is happening on Friday, June 1st, which is a couple weeks away. So this is going to be a great informational uh, piece about what the Relay for Life is and how you can help and participate. And actually, I apologize, I don't know all your names fully, but if I can go uh, from left to right right here, if you can, Emily, is it? Yes, Emily Nearing. Yeah, I'm Nearing. Allie Hastings. And I'm Anne-Marie Tanzala. And thank you all for coming. Thank you very much uh, for talking to me and talking to everyone here about what Relay for Life is. Now, I guess I'll throw it to you, Emily, and then we can go back and forth down the line. Uh, what is Relay for Life? So basically, it's a community-wide event that, I mean, it really focuses on bringing people from the community together to not only raise like money for cancer to help mm -hmm. find a cure, but also to raise awareness and show support for people who have cancer, who have lost loved ones to cancer in the community. So it's just a great way to bring people together for a really important cause. Oh, that's great. And uh, how did you both get involved? Uh, we both started freshman year, so we were um, added on to one of our friends' teams, and then that kind of really gave us insight into what Relay was about and we both wanted to co-captain our own team. So sophomore year, we started our team, Got Hope, and at that time we had about maybe six people in total, and it's grown to about 13 or 14 members. So yeah, oh, we've, right. we've co-captained for three years now. And you guys are seniors now. So yes. you started when you were freshmen, and you're with North Reading High School. Right, yeah. And just a, a team uh, is essentially put together a team that raises money for people who want to walk, or how's that, how's that work? Yeah, exactly. So you get, like, captains together, like Allie and I, mm -hmm. and you just find people in the community who have, like, that same passion to fight against cancer and to help out for the cause. And, um, and you gather them together. They all register on the Relay for Life website. Okay. and. They ask for donations, raise money for your team, which all goes towards the ACS and um, cancer research, and you it. attend the event together. And uh, Anne-Marie, that's where you come in? Essentially? That's where we come in. So we're at the event with everyone. Um, the, I think one of the greatest things about Relay for Life is that these are volunteer-driven and staff-supported. So volunteers really, we get so much credit for things that we don't do. The volunteers do everything. We have one staff member may handle up to five different relay events all happening within weeks of each other. And that couldn't happen without an amazing volunteer group. So the volunteers really do everything. They reach out to teams, they get people involved, they, their own teams are fundraising, they get the, get the word out to everyone, talk to the newspaper, handle logistics, really do everything for the event. So without them, we couldn't run them. Oh, that's amazing. And you were saying ACS, which means the American Cancer Society? Yep. Is that? All yeah, right. that's correct. Fair enough. And um, the website for that, was it ACS.com or what? It's um, relayforlife.org yeah. slash North Reading Mass, N-O Reading Mass. Oh, lovely. And uh, it's, Relay for Life has been around for a bit, right? It started in 1985. Oh, okay. Um, and that. traditionally, uh, all, Relay for Life were all 24-hour events. So it was started by a doctor who decided he wanted to raise some money for cancer awareness and, and research to help the fight against cancer and walked around the clock and raised about $27,000 on the first effort. And that has grown into what you see today. So if there are some 24-hour events that are still around. Um, we call those heritage events. Oh. The interesting thing about North Reading, they're one of the unique groups that runs a six-hour event. So there's things that happen in every Relay for Life. One is survivors are, are why we relay. So survivors begin every Relay for Life event. They kick us off. There's usually a survivor speaker after our welcome. And then we have our survivors join us on the track. We have a special t-shirt for survivors. We usually do a survivor dinner. But the very first lap at every Relay for Life is survivors. So our survivors walk around the track and all of our participants spread out and applaud those survivors and then they kick off Relay. So that's what, that's what we're, we're here for, is more survivors. So they kick off the event, and then we have, usually around nine o'clock or so, we have what's called a luminaria ceremony, where people can, that's another fundraiser that we do, can purchase bags in memory of a loved one, and write messages on the bags, and we shut all the lights off, whether we're outside, inside, and we do a special silent lap, and we light up the bags with glow sticks or candles and we do a special silent lap in honor of those that we've lost um, so that we can remember them. And then we do a final closing ceremony at the end of the event. So North Reading is so unique. They, go, they went to a six hour model two years ago, I think. Yeah. And 
not every group can do that and they've just done a beautiful job with it. It's just a six hour event. People look forward to it. It's a lot of fun. They do all the components of Relay and it's just really a beautiful time. That sounds great. Uh, and you guys were a part of making that happen, switch to six hours or you're just there bringing teams in? That's like, like really when we formed our team. That was I think yeah. the first year. The first no. year that it was six hours. I, I've never mm. done an overnight right. thing. And it's a, they, ha they have had, I think uh, North Reading over the last couple of years have had like a 24 hour, like an overnight, right? Yeah. They had, a pro it was uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., oh, which okay, is a, yeah. what a lot of our relays are now. Oh, okay. 6 p.m., they're wow, still that's overnight. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that's we great. We do them everywhere. We do them in colleges, we do them in fields. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, no, we do them everywhere. It's and great. Uh, the one in North Reading is being held on the North uh, Reading High School turf, right? Yes. Yeah, right, right. on that thing. And I, I remember driving by a couple of times seeing that, and I know a couple other people in town have been a part of it. And it's always been uh, kind of great. And it's, uh, the survivor walk sounds really beautiful and really nice. It's, a, it's, it's, just, it's a great way to kick off, and all of our events start that way. It's a wonderful way to kick it off, celebrate our survivors. We have a beautiful banner that says Survivors Celebrating Life. And that's why we're there, to create mm -hmm. more survivors. And so what way can people get involved right now, even a couple weeks before? Is it too late? What is the uh, optimal time for it's definitely people. not too late oh okay yeah. no no it's good to know <laughs> please join us yeah yeah, yeah. Um, people can sign up online and make a team or join a team um that's what we've been trying to emphasize at the high school and um yeah you can you can have fundraisers too our team hosted a fundraiser at chili's and we raised oh, 300 dollars yeah. for that so Yay. Oh, that's great! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kudos. Yeah. And you—I remember you doing that last year as well. Yeah. And what? Uh, yeah. So when do you usually host that, or when did your team? Do your teams have different like fundraising events at different like times? Yeah, Nothing's, it depends on the team. I yeah. think um, we usually always just have one at Chili's because that's like a team favorite. <laughs> to go to. There you go. Yeah. And uh, how many teams usually are in? I mean, I imagine it differs, but around here. We have here. about 30 to 40 teams in North Reading. Oh, wow. Um, and our teams run, they run fundraisers. It's actually, um, Relay goes all year long. So the yeah. event itself is usually in the spring, especially the outside events. Um, college events are usually in the early spring because those are inside. But um, fundraisers happen all year long. So teams get involved starting in September. And, you know, the event season ends the end of August. And we start right away September 1st, and teams will sign up and just start fundraising. They'll have trivia nights. We have a group that does a meat raffle at another event. <laughs> they do oh, wow. okay, yeah. really creative and fun events that they do. A lot of the kids do bake sales at school, or they'll you know do something with one of their sports teams. We have coaches versus cancer opportunities, yeah. so any sports team can um, you know turn one of their games into an, an event and a fundraiser and raise money. So they have great creative ways that they raise money, our teams. Yeah, that's beautiful. And you can still raise money at the event as well. Like people can, can people donate at, at, at the actual oh, yeah. relay? Yeah. And people sponsor you to walk, right? Is that usually how that, that operates or is that a different kind of event? So as they donate like to the walker, to the so walker it's, itself, it's not yeah. as so many laps or anything oh, like okay, that, yeah. but they'll just uh, raise donations. So um, some groups will actually run an, a fundraiser on site at the event. So mm -hmm. most of our groups in North Reading do that. They'll okay. sell food or they might sell crafts or have some kind of service that they offer. We have a gentleman that comes and runs carnival games. Um, and donates all the money back. So we have people that sell popcorn, and and so it's all different things that they do. It's just a real fun community night. Oh, nice. And so, uh, your experiences, both Emily and Allie, just doing it like you have a bunch of friends come with you and people like classmates, and you kind of just hang out and just yeah. take it in. And yeah. how's the experience overall? I think it's wonderful. I mean. Yeah. In years past, there have been a ton of high school students who come. I mean, I started attending Relay for Life. I wasn't on a team, but I started attending it in eighth grade, I think. And that was, I mean, I had all my friends there, and that's how I really, like, found out about the organization. Um, but, yeah, it's wonderful because a lot of people go. You get to see friends from the community, people you don't know. You can meet new people. And, and I think it's just great to get everybody together to support the cause. Yeah. And this is our senior year, so it's going to be our last day of school, too. So. <laughs> oh, it's, oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the then summer. you graduate yeah. the week after, right? Yeah, yeah graduate. Yeah. Wow. And that's I should crazy. mention that both Emily and Allie are on the event leadership team as well. So not oh, only do wow. they run teams and fundraise and do all that, they table at the high school and try to get other kids involved and, and help them register for the event. They come to event leadership team meetings every month and have other tasks that they you know, are happy to do for 
the event. So they help run the event. No, that's great. And, and people, high schoolers, uh, adults, uh, business owners, anyone can come and help run the event. It's a great shining yeah. example of community coming together. You don't have to be, it's not age uh, specific and right. it's great for you guys to get involved. And also in, you know, I realize there's a darker side just to the whole thing. What we're trying to do is trying to support uh, people who have it and trying to uh, be more of a, you know, a community, come together as a community, I think is the word you use, Emily. And Allie talking about how uh, meeting people in this, kind of being a culmination, because this is your last year. I imagine you can come back after in college, but it, it's tougher yeah. when you're not living in town. I'm sure you can spread uh, the word further out. And uh, yeah, no, that's great. That's awesome to hear. And people can find out more information on uh, the website. Is there any other way people can find out information about it or help spread the word? Well, it's all, there's a fundraising app they can download, oh, but they can go to the Relay for Life website of North Reading and all the information's there. They can start a team. They can, you know, pretty much do anything. We have um, some slides showing at the high school with some information on that. Oh, nice. And uh, like I said, oh, um, like Emily on, and the, on the screen. On, they have yeah. some screens at the high school, and they've okay. been kind enough to share our slides. And I should oh, mention nice. North Reading High School has been just unbelievable. It's the town of North Reading, North Reading High School, Moynihan Lumber. I mean, these people have been with us for years and helping us run these events. They help us shave just numerous amounts of money off the cost of running a relay. So th those are just some unsung heroes that I'm, I just want to share how much they've done for all of us for, for you know, this event for years. They've been great. So, um, but the girls run tabling at the high school. There's also a slide up there with information if high school kids want to get involved. But we're also, we're a community event. So we have adults, we have kids, we have all ages. It's really a lot of fun. And it's nationwide. It's nationwide. It's actually yeah. worldwide. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So it's just, what, what's the far reaching? Do you guys know of the farthest reaching? Well, I met in someone. In your history, yeah, I was at no, I was at an event. Um, I was at a conference um, last year, and I met some of our friends um, in, in Europe that were running oh. events. So I know it, it it goes worldwide. We have events everywhere. That's great. That's Pretty fantastic. Exciting. Yeah, no, and oh, actually, I have to say, oh, no, go ahead. I just realized I have a friend in Japan who oh. I've been I've known for several years and. I don't know if he just didn't make the connection, but yeah, <laughs> he yeah, no. posted, oh, I just finished Relay, and we did 24 hours, and I reached my walking goal, and I went on Facebook and said, you never told me you Relay, and he huh. went, he went, came back and said, I just made the connection, Anne Marie. Weird. <laughs> oh, my God. So arbitrarily, you guys were just buds. And we're about, we've known each other for quite a long time. We, we're no both idea. coaches. I'm a coach, and, oh, yeah. and we're both um, coaches. So we, you know, we chit-chat online, and yeah. he had mentioned that he, he did his relay in Japan. That's so great. it's I mean, everywhere. Yeah, I know. That, and that's, you know, all the more reason communication is key. But, uh, no, that's beautiful. And I'm glad you guys are doing it. And hopefully um, other people will take... Uh, that guard over him. And there are other teams at the high school, I imagine, right? You're not yes. the only. Yeah, yeah, right. Yep. And other, and what's the earliest people can uh, join up and create a team? Anytime. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, anytime. All you have to do is go to the website and sign up. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's great. Anything else you guys want to add to um, just your experiences or just the event as a whole? And when, when did it officially start? 6 p.m.? Yes. 6 p.m. Yeah. June 1st on Friday at the North Reading Turf. High school yeah. turf, there we go. So, yeah, anything else you want to add? or? Yeah, I guess I would just say for anybody who's even like thinking about getting involved or thinking about making a team, definitely do it because I've gained so much from being a part of Relay for Life and I've had so many amazing experiences and met new people and learned new things. So I just, anybody who's even thinking about it, I would encourage you to get involved. Yeah, and even if someone is intimidated by the idea of making a team or joining up ahead of time just know that it's it's not a hard process <laughs> mm. it only takes like five minutes but if for some reason they weren't able to gather up a group of friends who wanted to do it um, i would still encourage them to go on the night of because it's still like emily was saying it's a really fun night um, for the community and you can donate there too so there's still plenty of ways to get involved oh well, that's great that's fantastic and thank you guys for showing up and uh giving your time and uh your information regarding this and it's a great thing you guys are doing and Thank hopefully you. uh i mean i know we'll be seeing this event uh in years to come but it's great to get a informational first look from team members and from uh, the american cancer society and how they put it together so yeah with that uh feel free to check out uh their website which will be around here -ish. <laughs> so check that out and uh feel free to donate become a part of it 
uh, help spread the word. And yeah, be there on Friday, June 1st at the North Reading um, High School Turf. And yeah, thank you guys again for coming. Thank you for thank having you. us. We really appreciate no it. No worries, anytime. And hey, take it easy. We'll see you at the next event or next thing that we need explaining or I need to know about because I have no idea. This is more <laughs> informational for me, frankly. So take it easy.